Indian cuisine without spice would be unimaginable, yet how many of us know what the product looked like before it arrived in a packet or bottle? When Kriya got the opportunity to discover exactly where peppercorns, cloves, cinnamon and turmeric came from, she decided to make the most of it. Today, Mela's roving travel reporter, Kriya Gangia, is focusing on the product that puts Zanzibar on the map, spice. In the first century AD, Persian traders used the archipelago as a stopover on their spice trading voyages to the east, only to be displaced by the Portuguese some four centuries later. Traders then realized that the islands offered an ideal location for clove, nutmeg, cinnamon and pepper plantations. These crops formed the basis of the local economy until the 1970s. It's still an important source of foreign exchange and now a major tourist attraction. It's easy to take spices for granted until they're missing from your meal. I can't imagine a breakfast egg without pepper, fenugreek in my dosa or cinnamon in my coffee. But the question is, where do all these spices come from? And the perfect place to answer it is Zanzibar and that's my mission today. Jambo. Jambo, how are you? Good and you? I'm good, you are welcome to the farm. You are in Maganga Spice Farm. I'm Hamis, will be with you for this spice tour. Great, let's get going. How many spices do you grow on the farm? We've got uh, cinnamon, we've got ginger, lemongrass. I'm guessing that this is lemongrass. Uh, you're right, it is lemongrass. What is the Swahili name for lemongrass? Mm, chai chai. Mmm, chai chai. Mmm, smells really good, very lemony, obviously, because it's lemongrass. The lemongrass was easy enough for Kriya to identify, but some of the other crops had her guessing with strange berries and fruit. Eventually, she was left wondering if she couldn't see the wood for the trees. I'll give you some bark to smell. Maybe okay. you can guess what it is. Okay, let's see if I'm any good at this. Oh, that's cinnamon. You can smell it automatically. Yeah. I like this game. You need to test me on another one. Yeah. Everybody knows what this is. Let's be serious. You know what this is. Curry leaf. It is curry leaf. Okay, on to the next one. Okay. This is cardamom. Hilachi or hiliki in Swahili. Let me open my smell okay. inside. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely smell that hilachi. This is one of my favorite fruits. Star fruit. See? They look very pretty, but they are very sour. Are they sour here? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. Ooh. Mm. It's, a little, it's a little bit more sour than it is in SA. And rather have this in oranges. It's a good source of vitamin C. Spices make up a large part of the Zanzibarian life. Yeah, spice has been used for many years in Zanzibar because we have got so many influence, so, mm. like Indian influence and Arab influence. In our day, our daily life, so we use a spice for cooking, mm. for medicine, and also for some cosmetic, we can use a spice in that shape. We have got this, looks like a lychee or rambutan, and inside there are seeds, like a pomegranate. It's called a bixa or ilana or anato dye, and you can do this for lipstick and the Hindu, they put dirt to their forehead. Well, this is definitely not my color. This is only for Spice Girls. <laughs> for Spice Girls. Now I want to see something a little different than you see in the stores than it is as a plant. The plant looks like a banana. Mm -hmm. It's related to ginger. Can you guess what it is? I'm guessing from its yellow color, is this turmeric? It is turmeric. We can use it fresh like this or we can use dried in powder. I've never seen it in a root before. Yeah. I'm getting a little thirsty and I would really like a coconut. Because the tour about to be over, we are going to the Batman who's going to pick some coconut and give you to drink. Oh my goodness gracious. That is the guy who is going up to get my coconut. I think I need to explain to you how high this really is. I mean, my height, tree. I don't think you can possibly get coconut juice fresher than this, straight off the tree. Asante sana. Today has been such an experience to see a spice farm and to see spices in a form I'd never thought they actually started from. Really? I'm going to enjoy this. Mm.